Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a scallop or fish scale template in Procreate and then we'll draw a simple motif using the template and then make it into a repeating pattern all in Procreate. This template will also be available for you to download for free in the description below. So let's get started. For the canvas, I have taken 3600 pixel by 3600 pixel at 300 dpi. For color palette, you can use any colors of your choice. I'll just choose one of my own palettes. You'll also get some free palettes to download by subscribing to my freebie vault. And I'm using a monoline brush here to make the template. So first of all, we will draw a circle. Just roughly draw it and tap one finger on the screen and it will snap to a perfect circle. Now tap on the move tool and tap on fit to canvas below. Now go to the layers panel and duplicate the circle for two types. Tap on the first layer, tap on move tool and drag it to the bottom left corner. Again. Tap on the second circle, tap on the move tool and drag it to the bottom right corner. Now go to the layers panel again and tap on the last circle layer. Now tap and hold on the eraser tool to select the same brush as eraser and erase the bottom arcs of the circle like I am doing here. Now you can merge all the layers and your template is ready. You can either save this template as a JPEG in your camera roll or else every time you want to create a pattern using this template, you just have to duplicate the canvas and keep the original as backup. Ok, let's move on to drawing the motif. So I'll first decrease the opacity of the template and create a new layer by tapping on this plus sign and bring the layer below the template. Then tap on the Actions tool, tap on Canvas and toggle on Drawing Guide. Then tap on Edit Drawing Guide, go to the Symmetry and tap on Vertical Symmetry. And then Done. You can also draw a motif without using the Symmetry tool. But for this video, I will be using the Symmetry Guide. Now for the brush, I will go to the Calligraphy section and choose the Chalk Brush. You can choose any brush of your choice, it doesn't matter. Similarly for the colors also, you can choose any color palette. I'll take this sunny summer palette that I have created. Now go to the layers panel and duplicate the first layer once. Then drag and drop a background color on the bottom most layer. Now for this kind of a pattern where the motif will be touching the edges, you don't need to have a background layer to make the pattern work. And also I will be using a pattern template which I will show you later. Now I will duplicate the layer on top a few more times so that I don't have to tap on the assisted again and again for symmetry to work. Now I will take a color, check the size of my brush and then start drawing. You can use your imagination here and draw any design that you want. For my motif, I'll just do these simple shapes and fill them up. Then for every new color I choose, I'll take a different layer so that I can recolor my pattern easily later. By the way, if you have not yet watched the recolor in Procreate video, then do watch it. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful as I have shown different ways to recolor your artwork and pattern in Procreate. Ok now let's get back to drawing. So I will keep on drawing these shapes and try to fill this whole scallop layout while keeping the colors separate by drawing them in different layers or in separate layers. Now I will make the template invisible and zoom out the design to see how my design is looking. Then I'll take another color, maybe white and decorate the design further by adding some line details. 
This time I will choose the monoline brush and in a separate layer I will start adding the details. Well I didn't like the white lines so I changed the colors here and have kept it on separate layers. And now that I have my motif ready, I'll start making the pattern. Let's start by grouping the layers. So tap on one layer and select the others by swiping towards the right and then tap on group. Duplicate the group by swiping left and tapping on duplicate. As I have said before, I like working in templates in Procreate to make my process easier and faster. So here also I have taken a grid or also called a full drop pattern template which I have shown in one of the videos on my channel here and also I provide free to download templates in my freebie vault. So do check out the links in the description below this video. Now I'll rename the original group and make it invisible and will work with the duplicate group. I can't stress it enough how important it is to always have a backup of your artwork whenever you are working in Procreate. Okay, so now while the group is selected, I will tap on the selection tool here and then tap on save and load down here. And as you can see, I have all these selections. If this is the first time you are seeing this, then don't worry, watch this video first where I have explained everything in detail and then come back to this scallop layout video. Okay, so now I will tap on the selection one, then tap on the move tool and then tap on flip horizontally and flip vertically and deselect it. Then select it again and repeat the same process. You see how easy it was to make patterns using the template and also without worrying about if it will snap properly or will there be a pixel gap somewhere. That's why I always recommend using these templates. After I have done this process with all the four quadrants, I will just tap on the move tool and then tap on rotate 45 degree for four times so that it will face the right direction. But you can choose not to do this if you are fine with this upside down scallop layout and that may give you a different result for your pattern. Now I will go to the layers panel and delete the background layer from this group which is the duplicate group so that I can reveal the original group in the center. And here you have it, a scallop layout pattern. Now to test the pattern, I swipe down with three fingers on the screen and tap on copy all. Swipe down again and tap on paste and you'll get this flattened layer. Duplicate this for three more times and tap on the first one. Then tap on the move tool and then on this blue dot in the top left corner and in the dimensions type half of the size of your canvas. And as my canvas size is 3600 pixels, so half of it is 1800 pixel. Then I'll go again to the layers, tap on the second one, then tap on the blue dot in the top right corner and type half of the canvas size. Do this process for the bottom left and then the bottom right corner. And now you can merge all the layers. Now to make the pattern even more interesting, I sometimes change the colors of the middle motif or you can do so with the corners also. It doesn't matter. But before that, I'll duplicate the motif first. And if you have watched my recolor in Procreate video, then you will recognize this method where I will first toggle on alpha lock on the layer and then tap on fill layer to recolor the artwork. After I am done with recoloring it, I will check the pattern using the same method that I showed earlier. And as you can see, recoloring the pattern definitely adds some more interest and variation to the pattern. And now let me show you some more examples 
to give you different ideas of how you can use this layout. So this is it for today's video and if you have any particular type of patterns in Procreate that you want me to make, then do let me know in the comments below. See you in the next one. Bye.